Alright, so this was the church on top of the Maleslee dungeon. The name of the church again is Society for the Propagation of the Gospel. But many years after the abolishment, we made the church a children's library. But right here there was a sorry. There's a spy hole right here. Now this spy hole is connected to a male dungeon. The English slavers would worship in the church and the same people come and stand right here and look at the African men in the male slave dungeon. This is the part that we all do not understand. Why did Europeans build the churches on top of the dungeons? I do think that they were actually advertising Christianity to the Africans in the dungeons. My wonderful families, this is where I would like to end my presentation. Please do not forget there are three slave castles in Ghana. Elmina Slave Castle, Osu Slave Castle, and Cape Coast Slave Castle. El Mina Slave Castle was built by the Portuguese in 1482. That is the oldest and the largest castle. Also, Slave Castle was built by the Danish in 1661. And Cape Coast Slave Castle was established by the British in the year 1665. Date wise, Cape Coast Slave Castle is the youngest slave castle. However, this slave castle is 356 years old. My wonderful families, you know, slavery is still going on in so many different ways. Yes. As a people, let's come together. Let's educate the next generation so they don't repeat the same mistakes our ancestors made and the mistakes that you are still making. I do appreciate your cooperation, but do not forget that black energy never dies. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.